subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about hyperparameter bias variance trade off in logistic regression. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about the optimization problem of logistic regression, what's the loss function, what's the regularization term, all these topics were clearly discussed. This is our optimization problem. So those concepts are very, very important to understand. So please watch those videos and come back here. Coming to our today's class, uh, this is a hyperparameter bias variance trade-off in logistic regression. This concept we already discussed many times in our last two models. When we discuss our naive base model and k nearest neighbors model, we discussed that. So high biased models means underfitted models. High variance models means uh, overfitted models. Uh, so we need a trade-off between high biased and high variance models. In our previous models what we discussed is a logistic regression uh, its naive base model alpha is the hyperparameter when alpha is equal to 0 and overfitted model when uh, we take large alpha value underfitted models the same way k is equal to 1 overfitted models k is equal to large value underfitted models like that uh, in logistic regression lambda is our hyperparameter so why it's hyperparameter we will understand in this class how to take the trade-off between hyperparameter means uh, overfitted and uh, underfitted models we will understand in this class so in our previous class we discussed that this is our regularization term if you don't have our regularization term we clearly discussed that in our previous class our model may lead to overfitting that's we clearly discussed in our previous class. If you don't have this regularization term, our model may lead to overfitting. Means if alpha lambda is equal to zero, means we don't have this regularization term. Whenever lambda is equal to zero, means overfitted model, high variance model. So the opposite, whenever the lambda value is large value, underfitted model, why? Why it's going to underfitted model? That's what we have to understand here. Let's take lambda is equal to some large value, infinite. Assume that uh, whenever we discussed in our previous class, large value means infinite value. Whenever the lambda value is infinite, even if you pick the correct W values and your loss function is is in the correct position you have the good loss value but the entire value is becoming infinite even if you pick the right w values even if you don't pick the right w values it is not getting affected by loss function it is getting affected by lambda value because it is large value means if we take large lambda value, we are not at all bothering about loss function. But what we have discussed based on the loss function, we have to identify the right W values. So if you take large lambda value, this loss function value is not getting affected because this lambda value is overcoming this loss value. That's why underfitted models we are not at all bothering about loss function means uh, we are biasing to a value what, what value lambda value high biased models means uh, underfitted models uh, so when alpha lambda is equal to large value underfitted model means we need a trade-off between lambda is equal to zero and lambda is equal to large value which lambda we have to pick uh, whenever we are having overfitted models we are having uh, the testing accuracy is low Whenever we are having underfitted models, the testing accuracy is low. So how we pick it is lambda, lambda value. In this side, we are having accuracy value. Whenever lambda is equal to zero, we are having low testing accuracy. As lambda is mov moving away from zero value, our accuracy slowly increases. At certain point, again, our accuracy will decrease. Why? It is moving towards underfitted model. So this is our best lambda value. So how to choose this best lambda value? We used grid search CV when we when we, we have done so many codings on using grid search CV. 
so we use grid search cv for picking the best lambda value lambda is called as hyperparameter okay hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you